Hello friends, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn full blind playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on ultra difficulty and this should be part 31. Alright guys, in the last episode we completed the Hunter's Lodge, which was quite difficult, <laughs> it really was, but um, we pulled through, it was quite a difficult quest. Now that was to hunt uh, Sawtooths, Ravagers and a Stalker. Anyway, the reason I'm at the merchants, I'll just show you what I bought. Oops, not that. Okay, where is it? Inventory. Okay, I I really want a particular outfit. It's called a Karja Blazon Heavy, I think, and it resists its resistance against fire damage. The problem is I need something called a Charger Heart. I don't even know what a Charger is, so I haven't encountered them before. What I did get, however, was this, uh, Bannock Ice Hunter Heavy, uh, cured hide and fur interwoven with machine plates protect, with machine plates protect the wearer from freeze damage. You know, things like snap malls, uh, bloody glint hawks, <laughs> I bloody hate them, guys. Typical wear for the unforgiving north. So I've got this, so if I fight anyone that's, um, you know, shooting uh, freeze at me, then I'll switch into this. I've also got this one here, the Karja Silks Heavy. Oh, do you know what, guys? I just realized something. I could have put all freeze in here as well. <laughs> anyway, it's um, it, it's really flexible. We can put whatever we want in this. So I'll switch this out as and when. Oh, look, check it out. I can even put fire resist here. Shock resist, even corruption, etc. So you get the picture. Right, what are we doing today? We are going to do this. Is it a side quest? I think it's this one. Yeah, this one here. Hunter's Blind. So you get this after immediately completing uh, Hunter's Lodge. Right, side quest. Talana has accepted a Hunter's Lodge contract that Assis refused. Helping a village under constant attack from machines. What could be causing the onslaught? Uh, talk to Talana and that'll be 3000 XP. Oh, that's interesting. A tear blaster weapon box. No idea what that is. <laughs> All right, I'll meet you at the Hunter's Lodge, guys. All right, guys, we're here. Check it out, that Thunder Jaw. <laughs> um, guys, that Thunder Jaw looks really intimidating. I don't even know how the hell we're even going to fight one of these, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And Talani is kind of cute. I like her. <laughs> When I gave him my trophies, Asi said you should be spending more time finding Red Ma than helping me. That bunghead isn't wrong. But there isn't time to find Red Ma right now. You're gonna help with something else. Oh? Then what might that be? Meet me outside. All right. Okay. <laughs> What's this? You want to help? Here's someone who needs it. Go ahead, El Sadi. I live in Lone Light, northeast of here. I barely escaped because Glint Hawks attack anyone who ventures out. We have so few shards. Will you help? We have nowhere else to turn. Sometimes members receive an honorarium for the hunt. Assis should have accepted this one, but he refused. The price was too low. How generous. In the past, I would have gone with Takas to handle this. And what say you and I take it on? I'll meet you at Lone Light. What about Red Maw? Are you in or not? All right. I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Guys, I just realized Talana's outfit is actually the Karja blazer, I think. I want this outfit so much for Aloy. She's going to look great in it, but um, I can't get it because I haven't got bloody Charger's heart. Right, Lone Light. Where is that? Oh, it's quite far. All right, so we need to get there, obviously. So what I'm going to do is, guys, we're going to pick up a broadhead, go to this campfire. Okay, I'll see you in a bit. All right, guys. Okay, we're here. Let me just grab a broadhead. Okay, I hope they don't see me. Actually, I better... Not that. I keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> All right, let me switch into... The Silent Hunter. All right. Oh, 
Oh, that actually... I, I didn't think that would work, but it did. I thought it was too far. Guys, this game is so good. <laughs> it really is. It's so unique. All right. Come on, come on. By the way, how many skill points do I have? Oh, I've got three now. Sorry, guys, just give me a sec. Give me a second. I haven't updated this. Right, I need to get this ammo crafter. It's going to make it... I hope it works, but it's going to make it so much cheaper uh, for ammo. Um, and also, guys, I better start investing in these as well. Not that, sorry. Com not this. Combat override. I want to get this tree done. Call mount is awesome. Check this out. Call is a new overridden mount if no mount is available. Um, so I don't need to keep on doing this where I keep on overriding. You can simply just call one over, which is great. Anyway, let me get rid of the flag. All right, we need to actually go up here, apparently. All right, let's do this. What the fuck is that, guys? Guys, that's a freaking thunder jaw. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't want to fight it. Oh, my God. Wait, one sec. All right, guys, just, just give me a minute. I've only seen this in, you know, media and stuff and on YouTube. I've never fought one before. My God, it's so close. <laughs> Jesus, he's so intimidating. Oh my god, this is it. The legendary Thunderjaw. I'm not going to fight it, don't worry. I'm just going to run past it. But let's read on it. Um, Thunderjaw, apex combat machine equipped with a wide array of heavy artillery and melee attacks. Jesus. All right, body, weak to what? Nothing. <laughs> Great. Okay, Blaze. Wait. Blaze can it's bits dug into its back, I think. How the hell am I going to get that? All right, whatever. Okay. Right, what's that? Data Nexus seems to be on top of its head, I think. Yeah. Okay, weakness all. So, I don't know, whatever. Disc launcher. Okay, I don't know what that means. This heavy weapon can be picked up and used after it has been detached from the machine. Awesome. Okay, so we want to break this off as soon as possible. We can use tear. Freeze canister where? It's underneath it. How the hell am I going to get that? Oh, whatever. Okay, chill water can be looted, blah, blah, blah. Sheen is canceled with a freeze arrow. arrow. Okay, I don't have a war bow, guys. I will get it. Um, so it's weak to freeze. Heart. How the hell am I going to get that? It's weakness to all. Power cell is on its tail. Radar tear. Cannon. Guys, this thing looks deadly. I, I'm not messing with this right now. Okay, broadhead. <laughs> Let's get out of it. But anyway... Wait, how the hell do we... Okay, I've got to go here. Oh, Jesus. Guys, wish me luck. I don't know how the hell I'm going to do this. I don't want him to see me. Right, turn. Broadhead, go. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. He's facing this way. Go, please. Please, Broadhead, please. I'm not even looking back. I'm not even going to look back. Shit, my Broadhead got here. God damn it, guys. God damn it, guys. <laughs> this is horrific. Is he still chasing us? Oh no, there's a glint hawks. Piss off. I'm not here for you. Oh my god, guys. What the hell, man? Um, guys, listen, put this in perspective. I don't think the Thunder Jaw actually hit me per se. I think it just touched me. And my broad head is already in bad shape. How the hell am I going to fight that thing? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> that glint hawk is still trying to attack me. Okay. All right. Right, let's save it. Oh, God, that was scary. All right. Anyway. Well, at least I've met the infamous... Uh, Tara? About time you showed up. More glint hawks incoming. Oh, shit. Glint Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got the perfect outfit for that. Right, I haven't even seen what it looks like. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Okay, we want to bring these guys down using... Oh. oh, 
my god! Guys, these are oh, alright. I'd rather fight a Thunder Jaw than these pieces of shit. <laughs> Let me try that tear thing. Let me just give that a try, guys. Ah, it didn't work. I, I was trying to blow this up. You know what? Let's just stick to fire. It's fine. No, you don't. Come back here. Oh, you bastard. I <laughs> got him. <laughs> Good. No, this way. Where are they? Right, give me a sec. Guys, I gotta say, this thing is actually working. Um, sorry, the freeze thing. God damn it, I don't want his beak. Jesus. Right, good, he's dead, he's dead. Okay. Where? Good. Okay. Where's the other ones? Solana, you know you can help me, right? Uh, guys, I need to try something. Let me just see if a freeze potion will stack. Oh, shit! Shit! Anyway, sorry. Let me just see if a freeze potion will stack with this. The freeze outfit. What the... Goodness sake. Okay, whatever. Is it dead? Good, good. Um, you know what? They're not so bad once you bring them down. They're not too bad. It's just when they're in the air. Did I shoot the cactus? God damn it. Oh, damn it. He's outside. Oh, no. He's back. He's back. Got you. Okay, apart from the melee attacks, this freeze thing is awesome. Uh, sorry, the Banuk um, outfit. Anyway, talk to Talana and El Sadi. All right, what I'll do is I'm just going to loot up everything and I will talk to them. All right, guys. Okay, I've looted all the Glint Hawks. I'm going to check out the houses in a minute, but let's talk to Talana first. That seems to have taken care of them. But more always come. The soldiers at Morning's Watch don't even bother to fight them anymore. It seems like they're coming from upriver. I could track them back to the source, but if more come here... I'll watch the village. You go ahead. I thought you wanted to do this together. You don't need me to hold your hand. What? <laughs> okay, that's weird. Alright, fine. I'll do it myself. Whatever. Um, okay, just gonna have a look around. If there's nothing here, I'll just time skip. It's fine. All right, guys. Just found some supply boxes. There was nothing major, but... What the hell's that noise? Something roaring in the background. I don't know what that is, but anyway. All right, guys. So, find the cause of the glint walk attacks. All right, where do I go on the map? Why is it telling me to go this way? All right, guys, check this out. There's this here. Okay, I think we're going the right way, I think. <laughs> okay, I hope so. I mean, look, Glint Hawks hit very hard, right? They do. But they're kind of manageable. I, I hope I'm not being presumptuous in saying that, but um, they're quite manageable. Just got to use fire on them. And I was really hoping that the tear arrows would blow up their... Um, you know, frost sack, but it doesn't seem to work. So I'm not really sure what to do about that. 
Oh gosh, I'm just looking for the lens walks. Where are they? Okay, we'll grab this. It's a good thing I got this outfit. <laughs> but I really want that fire one. The Karja Blazon. Oh, there's a male flower here. I didn't even see this on the map. Oh, funny. Okay, here we go. There we go, collectible. All right, Mark two, and let's have a look at that. Okay, more poetry. The dust of many crumbled cities settles over us like a forgetful doze. But we are older than those cities. We began as a mineral. We emerged into plant life and into the animal state and then into, human, uh, into being human. And always we have forgotten our former state, except in early spring, where we slightly recall being green again. Hmm, I wonder what all this could mean. <laughs> but regardless, it's very intriguing. Oh, damn it. It's actually quite far. I didn't realise. Sorry, guys. All right. My poor, poor mount. <laughs> I can't believe... Uh, all the Thunder Jaw did was probably nudge my mount. Just touched it. That's it. And look how much health... <laughs> health he's lost. But anyway. All right. We're getting close. Let's do a quick scan. Shit. That's where they are. Okay. Um, guys, I'm going to go on foot. Let's leave my mount here. Shit. Glint Hawks? Of course they are. Right, let's get them. Wait, did you not get on fire? Why not? Really? Oh my god, really? Jesus. Okay, good. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's dead. That was not bad, guys. Not bad. Okay. Where are you? You annoying fuckers. Oh my god, that missed, really? No, 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 no. Stop that with your me melee. I can't say, though, that melee attack is dead. Devastating. All right, how do we do this? Ah, shit, got up. <laughs> oh, my God. Whoa, okay. Damn. Shit. No, not that. I don't want this ammo. Shit, man. What, what got removed? What is it, then? Oh, we did it. Guys, it's, it's done. We did it. <laughs> okay, good. Good. And again, apart from their melee attacks, which is really devastating, um, once we have resistance to freeze, we're actually okay. Uh, Snabble? Why is this here? 40 shards. Thank you. I'll take that. All right, sorry, my bad. It's saying investigate the area. So, guys, there's another snap more carcass here. There are snap more carcasses. Those blinds up there concentrate fire on a target. Makes it impossible to fight back. It's a cheat and a wasteful one too. So somebody is hunting snap moors. All right, guys, there's a lot of them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, this is a bit eerie. I don't know what's going on here. I'm not complaining because I don't really like snapples. I think they're pieces of shits, but... Anyway. Alright, so let's loot that. 94 shards. Jesus. That's good. Alright, let's go up here. Whoever did this must have left tracks from the blinds. I see. Okay. Leave easy tracks to follow. Huh. 
All right. Anyway. Okay, more loot boxes. This is good. I actually don't mind this. All right, let's go up this way. I'm a little nervous, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. A little nervous. Oh, there's a thing here. Let me just quickly save it. All right, let's keep going. Who are they? Bashad? Omas? I uh, don't know. They don't. Are they enemies? All right, we'll find out. We'll see. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, are you friends or foes? I'm here on behalf of the nearby village. Seems your kill zone is creating a Glintock problem for them. Yeah, well, they're not the only people with problems. If we don't get enough Snapmaw hearts to pay off a loan, we lose everything. I don't follow. I borrowed shards to buy seeds. The harvest went bust, and now they're coming for the debt. We could lose the farm, our home. I'm sorry about that, but Glinthawks are attacking people because of what you're doing here. Not my problem. None of us are leaving until I get what I came for. None of us? You didn't think it was just us two, did you? I was just about to say I can take them, but do I want to do that? They're not... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like fighting them, but... Okay, we can compromise or get out or else. All right, let's see what happens if I compromise. I don't know. No one wins if we fight. Surely we can reach a compromise somewhere short of death. We've been harvesting snap maw hearts for days. I only need one more, and then I can settle my debt and save our home. If I get the last heart, do you promise to stay away? It's a good deal. Ibasha took a hard hit with that last one. Okay, fine. We need the shards. I'll do this for you once, and once only. Stay here till I get back. You know what, funnily enough, guys, I actually do need a snap more heart. I think it's either for an outfit or it's for um, a weapon. Okay, is there anything else here I can loot, or is that it? Okay, where does the map want me to go? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, have I been here before? Anyway, all right, so let's go this way, I think. Gosh, there they are, guys. What do you mean? Oh, there's a tornet, guys. Wait, where's the signal? Oh, God damn it. All right, never mind. We'll, we'll tackle this in the next episode or another episode after that. But now, let's get these mofo snap moors. I really hate these things as well. However, I still would rather fight this thing than Glint Hawks. <laughs> Glint Hawks are just so annoying, guys. Right, this one's got a shield on its uh, blaze canisters. So what we're going to use is... We're going to try tear first. Alright. And... Did he move? Did he move last second? Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Alright, plan B. I need to shoot that frost thing. Oh, God damn it. Damn it! Wait, it's Blaze Canister. One sec. Oh, guys! Come on, lift your head up. Oh, jeez, I'm taking damage. God damn it. Why didn't he 
gonna get his um, frost thing. Oh, guys, sorry about this. Um. Oh my god, he's got shields on on the canisters. Even wow, even though I use the teeth. Wow, goodness sake. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're not taking that much damage. We're alright. Stop it. Oh my god, guys, sorry. I really suck when fighting these things. Really, that's what we're doing. Too far, damn it. Come on, lift your head up. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, here we go. This is better. Oh my God, stop it, Jesus. All right, that's big damage there, stop it. Wait, something's attacking me. Oh, come on, guys. Did he actually miss that? Oh, my God, guys. Stop it. Stop it. God damn it, man. All right, no, they're, they're not very... Ugh. Me trying to frost them, it's going to take too long, so I'll just set them on fire. What did I miss? Why? Oh my god, <laughs> Jesus. That was big damage there. Not so much there. Nice. Okay. Right. Where's all the snap Did he die? Okay, guys. Anyway, let me do some looting. I'll be back soon. Oh, nice. Guys, I got two snap hearts. That's fantastic. I don't know why I needed a sm um, snap more heart for, but as I said, it could be. Why are there bandits here? <laughs> okay. There's a lot of dead bandits, but um, anyway. All right, guys. Okay, so I looted up all the bandits down there. Dead bandits, that is, and snap moors. Broadhead, sorry, I meant. And uh, let's turn it in. I hope it doesn't take both of them, guys. There, the heart you need. Now, what about your promise? A deal's a deal. And now I can pay off my debt. We won't be back. Good. Keep it that way. Guys, I feel like killing him. <laughs> to honor. What the? Okay. Nice of you to drop in, but why didn't you help me out? Congratulations are in order. I wanted to make sure you could handle yourself. Oh, it's a test. You were watching the whole time? <laughs> of course. Tarkas, may the sunlight is passing, taught me many things. First of which was, a hawk never abandons their thrush. Wait, are you saying... I'd like to sponsor you for membership. What do you say to hunting machines, winning trophies, and unseating a cease? <laughs> I'm in. I'll meet you back at the lodge as soon as I'm able. Oh, actually, that was good. It was just a test. So, Aloy had to prove she was a badass, <laughs> which she is. And, uh, yeah, cool. All right, so, return to the hunter's lodge. What are you going to do then, Talana? Well, she's chilling here. Anyway, I'll meet her back at the lodge. Um, is there any collectibles we could get possibly before I go? No. Um, not in the nearby regions. Okay, it's fine. Guys, I'll see you back at uh, Meridian. Hey.
Hey guys, okay, just a quick one. Um, I was on my way to the Hunter's Lodge, but check this out. There's something to read here. I just saw all these people, I don't know, paying respects to something. It looked interesting, but there's also this. Let's just talk to this person real quick. I'm not going to do the quest, obviously, but... The one who foiled the plot against our city. The sun honors me with our meeting. You're Nora. I'm the mournful Naman. My apologies that we meet like this. Like this? In grief. You hold yours close. Like a talisman. Wait, forgive me. You didn't come for reparations? Someone you lost to the Sun Ring? Oh, no. I know about the Red Raids, but the Karja owe me nothing. I see. Well, I could use the help of a strong-willed outlander. Then I would owe you very much indeed. These people seek to honor their loved, their lost, with their own voices. Not mouthing Karja rituals to Karja stone. But there are obstacles. And while Meridian holds its breath for any disturbance, these robes only tie my hands. All right, obstacles? Uh, what kind of obstacles? The first pilgrim is an Asaram who seeks to visit the Shrine of Kings on the road to the city. He waits there now, forbidden to enter by an old sun priest who suffer no heathen. This Utaro lost her companion on the edge of the jewel, at a pool where snap moths gather. A shrine was built there to ward off the machines, and its effectiveness leaves much to be desired. And the Manuk would paint a mark on the sun's climb. The call to the machine spirits, I understand. They need no beckoning. Flint hawks perch there. <laughs> Great. Drawn to the spires shining. So clear the machines out of two shrines and move a priest out of the other. All I can ask for is your charity and that their stories are heard. All right, rituals. Naman, rituals and prayers can't bring back those who are lost. No, but it can help those who grieve to find themselves. It can lend them strength and hope, like a new sunrise. All right, why ask an outlander for help? I didn't think your priesthood would ask outsiders for help. If only the sun would set on our pride. Until this is done, I am no sun priest. To wear a red robe was an aspiration. I aspired. Now our hoods make us blind. We whisper reconciliation, but forget how the old king's priests sang the words and blessed the killing. The killing? You mean the red raids? Yes. And the sacrifices that came after. Why did the priests go along with all that bloodshed? Sometimes we Karja are more concerned with what is tradition than what is right. Huh. Maybe the Karja and Nora aren't so different. Oh, there's more. <laughs> okay. New Sun Priests? You're disappointed with the Sun Priests, but you still wanted to be one? I spent my whole life looking up to the temple. My brother's voice echoing in his arches. Even he couldn't turn me away. And how he tried. In the end. He said, When we were loved, our robes were dyed in cinnabar. Now they are stained in blood. How so? Our robes are handed down to us. Most of the old priests fled rather than be seen in the glare of a new sun. And so we are left to wear their sins. For me, at least... They hang heavy. <laughs> your brother? Where is your brother now? He waits for me on the trail of the sun, I hope. He spoke out against the sacrifices. For a priest to question the Sun King's will, his punishment was worst of all. You lost someone you loved, too. I'm sorry. No, not lost. When I took on these robes, I found his memory. All right. Goodbye. I'll do what I can to help those in mourning. To honor their memories is to honor us all. Honor the Fallen. Okay, so we've opened up a new side quest. Uh, there's something here as well. Again, guys, if it's long, look, skip ahead. It's fine. But I love law finding, etc. So if you're not interested in this, hey, just skip ahead. It's fine. All right, the Sun Faith. Seven Articles of the Sun Faith. 
1. Over all of the world rises and sets the great sun, as is plainly seen. To all plants, animals, machines and men it gives life, as is plainly seen. Of all the tribes, none have scaled such heights as the Kaja, as guided by the sun. Witnessing these things to be true each day, celebrating these things each day, we believe in the sun and its light gladly, and without question. 2. Only the sun's rightful heir, born of the radiant line that dates back to Araman, the founder, is the speaker for the sun. To him, the sun's desires are revealed, and from his lips its desires are acted upon by men. He shall be known as the Sun King, and his word shall be law. 3. In all things we accept the sun's judgment. We offer our bared skin to it, so it might burn our sins away. We partake of its renewal, we wear its heat for a time, as our skin bears its flush. Its bronzed armour we are made strong. In the cracking and peeling away of our old selves, we are made new. 4. In the sun's light, we shall speak only in truth. We shall strike only righteousness, and we shall act as we believe the sun so tasks us. When the shadow falls across us, we shall always remember our illumination. We shall not cast blame for ill fortune, we shall endure. In the coldness of the moon, we accept there will be stillness and death and endings until dawn comes once more. We do this because there are two halves of nature, sun and shadow, and to deny one is to deny the whole of things. This is so interesting, guys. <laughs> um, five. As a twilight time came before us, ending the world of the ancients, so shall a twilight time come again. For this is the cycle of things. The buried shadow shall rise up to eclipse the sun's light and usher in great and terrible change. Buried shadow? Is that corruptors? Anyway, even knowing this, we are steadfast in our belief and trust that the sun will again bring a new dawn, as it did for our founders so long ago. Holy Meri sorry, six. Holy Meridian shall forever be the seat of the Kaja, the city of the sun and the spire venerated as the mark of its founding. A sun king born of the radiant line shall always sit upon its throne. For without a speaker for the sun, it will its will is clouded. For either of these to be denied is to invite a twilight time upon us. 7. Clearly, the Kaja are the children of the sun, and preeminent in its gaze. But so too does its light touch upon the barbarian tribes of the north, east, and south. It is the speaker for the sun's duty to interpret if the sun's gaze is directed in approval or reproach. So determined, it is the duty of the Kaja to carry out the sun's will, even in places where the light does not reach. That's awesome. All right, I'll see you at the Hunter's Lodge, guys. All right, guys, we're looking for Talana. Uh, she's here, but... Okay. <laughs> Gotta say, Talana is sexy. Anyway, talk to us, sis. <laughs> Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Oh, screw Greetings, you. Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of Anora for membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. She did save his life. But I'm sure he'll listen to your prejudice over his own common sense. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you, Aloy of the Nora, pledge to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow? I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. <laughs> I 
he got stuck. <laughs> Dickhead. Um, there was no one else here. I thought it was going to be a big crowd. <laughs> so, but that was awesome, guys. That was awesome. At least it's all done now. All right, new Erin, the deadliest game. Talk to Talana. Okay, so it looks like we've got another quest with her. Boy, that thunder draw earlier was super scary, guys. <laughs> Honestly, I, I was still thinking about it. I'm thinking about how to fight that damn thing. Anyway, we'll see. Um, anyway, uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. There was a bit of reading, and uh, we open up another side quest. What I want to do is I want to systematically go through these question marks. Now, it, it's saying there's only two... Uh, sorry, question marks. Exclamation marks. The green ones. It says there's only two, but I swear there was more. There's two down here in the village. But up here, I swear there was a few more. But um, like I said, we'll tackle this as and when it comes. I didn't realize how big this game was going to get. It's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I'm enjoying myself, but it's a huge game. So uh, anyway, we'll leave it there. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for joining, uh, joining me today. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.